what's going on youtube jeans here hope you guys are having an amazing day today we are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive vgc double battles for pokemon brilliant diamond and pokemon shine and pearl in today's video we are rocking out with one of the coolest bug type pokemon ever we are rocking out with a b Joel team you guys already know the deal if you do enjoy the content anytime make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video and if you're not subscribed to the channel please take two seconds out of your guys time to just scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button and join the jeans community it really does go a long way so i want to give a huge shout out to all the subscribers everybody who likes the videos and everybody who just tunes in and watches it thank you guys so much for watching the jeans content it really does go a long way but like i said we're rocking out with Beedrill and he's just so sick just look at this pokemon gen one bug from like one of the first routes of Viridian forest gotta love it gotta love this pokemon he's super cool and he's a very great physical attacker but you guys gotta let me know in the comment section down below i've been reading comments for most videos on bdsp trying to get pokemon that you guys want to see and Beedrill was one of the comments i saw so it's like let me rock out with Beedrill. so if you guys want to see any certain pokemon to use in bdsp leave them down in the comment section down below but uh let's get started here with today's team preview we're starting off with the one and only Beedrill, bug and poison type and we gave it the focus as item because it's defense and hp is kind of in the trash it's kind of in the trash, but it's a great physical attacker. His EVs are set up with attack and speed, and we got the swarm ability. So when this Pokemon's health falls below one third, it actually gets a 1.5 times multiplier on all bug moves. So really good ability. Makes a hit like a truck. That's exactly why we're rocking the focus dash. Move set first, guys. Going to be poison jab, X scissor, two stab moves, and then we got protect and sword stance to set up that physical attack boost. Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be Weavile over here. Weavile is going to be a great Pokemon to control speed and to help our Beedrill set up. It's got Fake Out for first turn flinches, Ice Punch for stab, Icy Wind for speed control, and last but not least, we got Night Slash. Ability for this Pokemon is going to be Pressure, and last but not least, the item it is holding is Expert Belt. I usually like to give it the Focus Ash, but I gave my boy Beedrill the Focus Ash and tossed the Expert Belt over onto this Pokemon. Third Pokemon on squad is going to be Heatran over here. And Heatran is a great special attacker. And I feel like it, it uh, filled a lot of roles that were missing with this team. We have the Shuka Berry as its item. Its ability is going to be Flash Fire and then Special Attack and HP with the EV. So it's bulky and it can hit like a truck. And then its moveset is sitting here with Flash Cannon, Heat Wave, Protect, and Taunt. So it covered the Steel Field that I wanted, the Fire Field that I wanted. And plus it has Taunt to counter up on Trick Room teams and like opposing support Pokemon. So I really do like this Pokemon. Like I said, it filled a lot of different roles that I wanted to use with this team. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Togekiss over here. Togekiss is still one of the best Pokemon in this game. It's just super great all around on the support side and on the special attacking side. We got Dazzling Gleam. We got Air Slash Protect to follow me. We're rocking Super Luck as its ability, and the item is obviously going to be that Scope Lens. Fifth Pokemon on the squad is going to be my boy Gyarados. You guys know I absolutely love Gyarados BDSP. He's just super powerful with Intimidate, and it's a great moveset. We got Life Orb as an item, rocking Intimidate like I already mentioned for its ability, and then its moveset is Waterfall Crunch, Dragon Dance, and Protect. Final Pokemon on the squad is Tyranitar. I needed another great physical attacker, and Tyranitar just fit the role. It's got Dragon Dance, it's got Crunch, it's got Rock Slide and Protect, it's got Sandstorm to cover weather control, and last but not least, the item it is holding is the Lumberry. But guys, there's the team preview. We're rocking out with this Beedrill. Let's hop into the Coliseum, try to get some wins with it. We're hopping into battle number one, and you guys are lucky that I like recording BVSP, because I kid you not, I wasted 40 minutes waiting for my first match. BDSP is dying out. So there's not a lot of opponents in the Coliseum. But yeah, I waited 40 minutes for his first match. Hopefully we can prevail and grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. We're going up against a pretty cool team. He's got Dust Noir, Probopass, Shuckle, Flareon, and Gastron. And then he has Magma, Magnemite, who if I had to guess is probably sturdy with maybe Endophor, right? Makes sense, right? Definitely makes sense. But how should I go with this one? How should I play it? I feel like maybe leading a Pokemon like Heatran so I can taunt and then maybe go into Beedrill. Or I can just go in with Fake Out with Weavile and Beedrill instead of maybe a Sword Dance pulling out from there. I kind of dig that, so th that's what exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to lead them to. I'm going to bring... Do I bring Gyarados in the back end? I could bring Gyarados, but I just got to watch out for Storm Dream. I'm still going to bring him. We're going to bring Gyarados, and then last but not least, Titar or Togekiss. Titar or Togekiss. I'm kind of leaning towards Togekiss. Togekiss just does a lot of work. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle. Yo, Beedrill, we got to get rolling. Hopefully, we can just start off strong, grab ourselves a beautiful win, and rock off from there. He's going to end up going Shuckle and... That's Noir. Okay. So I can fake out the Shuckle, obviously. He can pop a Trick Room. I think I just set up a Swords Dance to kind of get after the battle this way. I am kind of with it. I'm kind of with it all day. Let's do it. Just go into a nice little fake out. Do a little bit of work on that. And then just Swords Dance set up, right? He pops Trick Room. He pops Trick Room. That's fine. I kind of want to lead the Heat Train just in case. But uh, that's totally fine. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. Because Beedrill does have that focus dash. Beedrill can rip up pretty well here. Especially after a Swords Dance. Beedrill's the man. Beedrill is the man. Let's just see what he does. Maybe he'll protect. That'd be awesome if he protects Dustin War. 
but I highly doubt it. Yeah, he doesn't protect it. We're going to fake out the Shuckle, make it flinch turn one. Beedrill's going to pop a Swords Dance, fling them swords up, and we're going to go plus two on attack. Beautiful. So Beedrill on the board. Lovely Pokemon. Look how sick he looks. Yo, Beedrill just looks so sick. He's going to flinch. Is Trick Room coming out here? It is. So Trick Room does pop out. Trick Room's definitely a little scary. We have the Swords Dance set up. And from here, what do we do? Just Night Slash? We go after Shuckle? Who do we go after? I think it's left. That thing's going to be that thing is going to be a pain. Such a pain. So from here, I think I'm just going to Night Slash. Go for you. And then I could just x scissor across the board. Poison Jab is going to be not very effective on both. And x scissor probably into the Shuckle. Yeah, I'm with it. I'm with it all day. Let's see what he does. I could have protected the Beedrill, but I have Focus Ash, so I feel fine without protecting him. I do feel fine with this Beedrill. This lovely little Beedrill. He's going to end up going for a Toxic. Okay, so this is going to be a Toxic. Probably. Rather annoying kind of Pokemon here. He's just gonna toxic up. He's gonna poison me and chip up some damage. All right, so we're guaranteed another turn. He's gonna will us and burn me. Oh, not my Beedrill, man. Not my Beedrill. Leave my Beedrill alone. So there goes my Swords Dance. Doesn't really do anything anymore. And this thing's gonna eat this up all day. Night Slash gonna poke out here. And this thing is rocking with the berry. Okay, pretty cool team right here. Pretty cool team he's rolling with here. So he has to burn on me. We have to go kind of go for crits here, I guess. We kind of got to go for crits here, but yeah, dude, that Shuckle's going to be mad annoying. That Shuckle's going to be mad annoying. I'm not even going to lie. That Shuckle's going to be a pain. He burned my Beedrill just like that. How annoying is this? God dang, Beedrill. Let's go for a Night Slash. So we know he's not holding a Mental Herb, which is pretty good. But it doesn't really matter anymore because we don't have a Taunt. But uh, we could go Swords Dance. But uh, yeah, just he just extras will keep up damage. Or I could go for like a Poison Jab and maybe try to get off a Poison on Dustin War. Yeah, I'm with that. Because he might protect the Shuckle. Let's see. I'm going to use a Stealth Rocks. This guy's just going to set up and be annoying, yo. He's going to be so annoying. God dang, yo. But this team is just setting up beautifully. Nightshade's going to poke out here. Chip up some damage onto my b Joe. He's going to be able to soak. And we're going to double down into this, uh... Into this, uh, Dustin Wall here. Do a little bit of damage. Can we get the Poison? Poison, maybe? Poison? Yes, we get the Poison. That's, that's nice. That's beautiful Poison. Because this Night Slash should be able to chip up a decent amount of damage. Night Slash coming in hot. And it just KO. So poison did not really matter. So big time KO from us. This battle's gonna be tough. This battle is definitely gonna be tough. Enough. He has a rock set up. Wish we had like rapid spin to get rid of rocks. But uh yeah, it's doubles. You usually don't see rocks really come out. You usually do not see it. Yeah, we're gonna be poisoned for a little bit. Um, there goes this trick room on. So if we can waste out some trick room turns, we could be sitting pretty good. Let's just see who he goes into from here. Could be Gashon. I'm thinking it's gonna be maybe like Flareon. I'm thinking it might be Flareon. Let's see. We shall see. It is going to be bump ba da bum purple pass. Flareon. Like I said, Flareon. Flareon comes out here. That's a, a little problem for us. I'm not, I'm not gonna sit here and lie. I think we have to go after him. I could protect him, but I just think he's gonna like stay in here. Uh, what should I go with? I might want to go with like a poison dab here. Or I can protect. How many turns left in tricking? I don't really want to protect. Actually, I kind of want to protect, but not really. Because I'm burned, I'm not really doing too much. I'd rather just go for a poison jab, see if I can get a poison onto the Flareon, and roll from there. Let's see what he's going to roll. He's going to roll with a power split. I'm going to swap his stats. It's fine. Cool. Whatever. There's power with target, and Lava Plume is going to come out of here. Double kill. So he picks up the double kill with a Lava Plume. Um, Trick is kind of going slow, but we have two... Po this is the worst. He has Stealth Box, and we have two Flying Pokemon. We have two Flying Pokemon, but how many turns is left in Trick Room? Maybe one. Maybe one, which could be really good. I might just have to double protect out. I could definitely just double protect out. But yeah, watch how much damage this Stealth Rocks is doing to me. This Stealth Rocks is going to do me dirty. This Stealth Rocks is going to do me dirty. Look how much damage it's going to do on me. I don't like this. Oh my lord. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Look at that damage. Just right off the rip through the Stealth Rocks. Air is going to intimidate. Um, I think we just double protect. So I'm trying to think how many turns left in Trick Room. So they just used that turn. They did a turn where they Toxic them and they burn. They did a turn where they Nightshade and Stealth Rocks. Do they have one more after this? I, dude, I wish there was a counter on this. But I'm still just going to roll into a Double Protect here. And see how this one can play out. I'm still just going to roll into a Double Protect. Because I think, I think that this is the last turn, right? If I counter correctly, this should be the last turn. But it's, that's the only thing that thinks about this game. There's no counter. Like, in Sword and Shield, you can just check. He's going to go for the power split. We're going to block it. Um, what do I do here? Do I follow me the shot? What, what's going to come in hot? Okay. Uh, yeah, what do I do this turn? Is Trick Room gone? Please tell me Trick Room's gone. Dude, Chuckle with left. It was a pain, dude. Such a pain. Look at this little booger. 
a little bulky boogie. Show me Trick Room's going. Yeah, okay, cool. Trick Room's going. We counted correctly. Um, at this point, I think I just waterfall straight across onto the U. And I just air slash and maybe look for the flinch here. I could have followed me the shot, too. Waterfall's gonna come out here. This. Wait, what? Did I, did I click on Tokus on accident? What just happened? Did I just click on Togekiss on accident? I am so confused. Did I just click on Togekiss? I must have, right? I did. I'm... Wow. What? Dude, Flaring, I should be dead. Missed click by Jeans there. I was wondering why did, why did my Togekiss take that waterfall? Makes no sense. It makes no sense, but uh, I guess we can take out the Flareon now. Do that power split, kind of annoying. But yeah, Flareon should be dead. That's a little rough. That's a little rough. That's a little rough. I wonder who he has in the back end. Is it Probo Pass? Let's see what he does. We're gonna waterfall here. Can we take him out with this? All right, cool. We still take him out, and he should have been dead. So we take him out with that. That's that's fine by me. Flareon's a little weakling, and dude, that misclick kind of did me dirty. That misclick kind of did me dirty. And I wonder what Shuckle's gonna do here. Maybe get a flinch. Maybe we can flinch, him, which could be big plays for us. Give me a flinch. Give me a flinch. Let's go. That's big time flinch. The big time flinch come out from there. We, we need a crit. If we can crit, we can take out uh we can take out Shuckle next turn. But I think we just uh go after this promo pass here. I think it's promo pass. There's no way it's Storm Drink Ash time, right? There's no way it's Storm Drink Ash time, because he would have swapped into it earlier. It's gonna be the Probo. The Probo pass is coming out here, which I can just waterfall straight into. And then I could gleam across the board. But gleam wouldn't really do too much to him, so I'm just gonna go for the air slash crit on him. That's gonna be my play. Air slash crit. We're looking for a waterfall. It's gonna fly. Come on, baby. Give me, get off some big damage. That's some big damage. We need another waterfall though. Life Orb is gonna tick off, and we're going for an air slash. If we get a crit, it KOs. But if not, we want a flinch. Give me a crit. We do not get a crit. Can you give me a flinch? He's gonna iron defense up. We need this flinch here. We need this flinch here. We need this lovely little flinch. Give me the flinch again. Give me the flinch. He's gonna go for toxic. Okay. Who's he toxicing? It's toxic you. We should be able to eat up one toxic burn here, right? We should be able to eat up one toxic. Then I think Gleam should be able to take him out so I can Gleam and then go into a uh, a waterfall here. Let's see. So we die next turn. He Gyarados dies next turn, hands down. I'm going to have to waterfall on the U and then just Gleam across the board. Dude, if we didn't misclick, I feel like we would have won this game. But now it's there's still a chance, unless he's protected. We protect like Probo Pass here. Be a little tough, and he doesn't. He does not protect. Hold up, we got shot here. We're gonna drop that. Can Gleam pick up the double kill? Give me some crits here. Give me some crits here, Gleam. Gleam, I need you critting. I need you critting here. I need you critting. Let's go. You haven't crit all game. You have the scope lines. You got the super luck. Run it through. Run it through. Double kill. Bang. Did Probo Pass just survive on one? What's Probo Pass doing? Probo Pass gonna drop a rock, dude. No way he survives on one. Free focus, Ash. Do not hit me. Leave me alone. He rests. Oh, come on. You little booger. You little booger. Rest, dude. Rest. You should be dead. You should be dead. Look at this. What is this? Now he's going to eat. Definitely has a berry. He's just, just going to eat a berry. Just not. So, uh. What do I go for? He's going to do more damage. He's going to do more damage. Wow. <laughs> wow. Let me start getting some crits. Chipping up some damage. But I'm going for the win here. That was a crit. Wow. We couldn't get a crit last round. I got a crit on the what's it called, I think. The shuckle. God dang, yo. God dang, we're going for it. Get it, Togi. Does he have any hitting moves? Get it, Togi. Be asleep another turn. Be asleep another turn. Cool. I'm gonna go for the flinch now. I'm gonna go for the flinches now. Flinches are gonna be our friend. Flinches are our friend. We don't have Serene Grace, but still. We have a we have chance of flinching here. Shipping up some damage. He's gonna flinch. He's gonna wake up. Oh, we get a crit. He does wake up. Does he flinch, though? He does not. And he's gonna... He's gonna Sandstorm. Yo, this thing's gonna be annoying, yo. <laughs> he's just gonna rest again. <laughs> this thing's just gonna rest. God dang, Probo Bass. Coming in hot, battle number one. Yeah, this battle's definitely over, right? I don't even think we can air slash him to death. Look at his head, just moving back and forth. But yo, we definitely could've won this battle if I didn't misclick. We're gonna drop that. That does, like, nothing. Did we get the flinch, though? We're getting crits left and right now. And now he's just gonna rest. Yeah, dude, I'm running this battle. I'm running this battle all day. We're just gonna die to buffets. God dang, Probo Pass with the iron defense set up. 
gonna be able to stack up here. Well, we're special attacking, but we have two poopy moves up against them. <laughs> but yeah, dude, if I didn't misclick, this game would have been over. This game would have been over because our, our boy would have had so much more HP and got a bunch of other turns. But I'm gonna run the battle. We start off 0 1. Maybe we'll rematch this opponent. Second battle coming at you guys, and I'm still upset that I misclicked and hit my Togekiss. I was so confused. Like, just think, if I didn't hit that Togekiss, the Flare would have went down, and Gyarados would have never got hit by a Flare Blitz, giving it about an extra 50 HP. That would have been wonderful. But we rematched in the same opponent, and he switched teams, which is really cool. He's got Armaldo, Manetric, Tyranitar, Omastar, Storm Dragashon, and Sableye. I think I already mentioned Sableye, but uh, how should we go with this one? How should we play? Yo, I want to roll out with Beedrill again. I want to get Beedrill rocking. I just think Beedrill is such a cool Pokemon. We could lead Weavile again. I just feel like this. This lead is pretty solid. Let's say he leads to T Tar, and then there goes my Focus Ash, but it'd be like that. It'd be like that. It's all good. I'm going to lead them too. Uh, I am going to bring hmm, Tyranitar in the back, and I just like Tyranitar. And then I think Tokus could rock out here as well. This does a lot of work. We just have to watch out for that Manetric. Manetric could be scary. Well, I could bring in Heatran. I could bring in Heatran. Who would be better? Heatran. Heatran's not bad here. It's just got to watch out for the water Pokemon. I'm just going to go Tokus instead. Yeah, let's go Togi. Let's get Togi rocking in here. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Hopefully, he's not leading Manetric. I mean, if he is, I think at that point, I just uh, take him out, set up maybe a Swords Dance, or get up for damage. But we'll see. He's going to go Sableye alongside with Omastar. So, Sableye and Omastar start off here. I could Swords Dance here, just like I did last battle. I could definitely go into a Swords Dance if I wanted to. Obviously, we got to fake out. I'm going to go for a Swords Dance here. Swords Dance, and I'm going to go for the fake out. And we're going to see what Sableye does. Sableye might, might fake me out. Right. Shall see. We shall see. So not a bad lead for us. I really do like the Beedrill and the Weavile lead. I'm super upset that we lost that last one. So we got to win this one. He did have phenomenal starting plays with the Toxic and the, uh, what's it called? And the Dustin War Trick Room. But I feel like he just played that slow game. Umbreon was his big damage Pokemon. Picked up a double kill, which was which was his, his bread and butter there. He's going to end up protecting the Omastar. That's totally fine. And then what's he going to go into with Sableye? I wonder. He's going to fake out with Sableye as well? That could be the play. He's gonna fake out. No, he's gonna will of us here. And it does not affect my Weavile. Beautiful. Prankster does not affect Dark types. We love it. So, Swords Dance is set up for free. Swords Dance is set up for free, and we still have Focus Sash out on the board. Just gorgeous. How fast are you, Beedrill? Do I have to drop an Icy Wind? That's the real question. Do I have to drop an Icy Wind? Can you just outspeed these guys? I don't know, yo. I don't know how fast Omastar is, and it's kind of scaring me. At this point, Poison Jab is gonna be not very effective to both. X is gonna come across, and we're gonna try to get rid of the Save Lot here. We're definitely gonna try to get rid of the Save Lot here. I don't want to deal with the Willowus here. He's going to end up uh, rain dancing. Okay. He's going to set the rain now. Is that Swift Swim? It's got to be Swift Swim at that point, right? Omasar does learn Swift Swim, I believe. Omasar definitely learns Swift Swim. And he's going to go for an Ancient Power into my Beedrill. Beedrill does have Focus Ash, which is beautiful. And we're going to go down 21. Cool. So Weavile's going to drop an Ice Wind. Maybe, oh, or hopefully Weavile can outspeed at this point. And we can just Ice Wind it again. But we'll see. I might have to protect next turn. I might have to protect my Beedrill next turn, just get off an Ice Wind, but hopefully this x are just absolutely rips into this thing, because we're Swords Dance plus two. We're Swords Dance plus two, a plus Swarm's coming in here. This should easily KO it. Get him out of here. Beautiful. Yeah, Swarm is out and about. So at this point, I'm just going to protect the Beedrill, and I'm going to drop an icy, another Icy Wind just to slow down everybody and try to give Beedrill an extra turn, because Beedrill can get one more turn. Like I said, Swarm is triggered. Swarm is so big. Gets a 1.5 times multiplier when Beedrill's health below one third. It just works so well. It just works so well. So yeah, let's protect the Beedrill. And drop another ice one here. Drop a nice, lovely, another ice one. Or I could have just swapped into, uh, I should swap into T-Tar at this point. I could swap into T-Tar. Let's see how this one plays out. Let's see how this one plays out here. We follow this outspeed on the star now. The ice one's gonna fly. I could swap straight to the T-Tar just to get rid of somebody. But we'll see what he wants to do here. We shall see what he wants to do here. Because I would rather get rid of that miniature because I do have Tokus in the back here. Thunder's gonna come through here and that might take me out. Eat that up, eat that up, Weeball. Eat that up all day. No, if you go out, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, it gets a crit. Ouch, man. Why you get a crit? Why you get a crit? Okay, so both these guys are minus one. We're gonna take off the Swift Swim, and who do I get rid of with Beedrill? So I'm thinking just throwing Togekiss here. Or not Togekiss, uh, T-Tar, changing the weather so Swift Swim's gone, and then having Beedrill just dump on somebody. I'm gonna have Beedrill dump on. Manetric? I'd like that. I kinda dig that. But Manetric could protect. Manetra could definitely protect. We can take out whoever we want. We can take out whoever we want. Who's my call? Omastar or Manetra? I'm, I'm not liking this Manetra. I kind of just want to get rid of that. And I kind of just want to D-Dance from here. Because Omastar seems like he's just going to take out my Beedrill. Then if I can D-Dance here, it'd be beautiful. The Beedrill's going to drop an X-Scissor. Look at that, yo. Beedrill, baby. 
Beedrill out and about. Came to play today. Came to play. We're going to pop off a nice little D-Dance here. And if he takes out my Beedrill, he takes out my Beedrill. That's all good. We have Tyranitar set up. But if he does take out my Beedrill, that's a big mistake because Beedrill's coming in hot here. He's coming in hot next turn. Let's see what he does. He's going to end up going for Surf. Surf was a smart play. Smart play. Double hitting move. Going to take out my Beedrill. Do a little bit of damage to my T-Tar. But more importantly, my T-Tar's Dragon Dance 1. So it's Speed's plus 1 and it's Attack is plus 1. And I can just start dropping some Rock Slizzles. Some Rock Slizzles. We'll bring out Tokus here as well. And Omastar's minus, what is he? Minus 3, minus 2. Omastar cannot swap out. The speed's going to be low. And our model's going to pop out here. Our model's so sick. He's so sick. I was going to actually showcase him, but I was just like, yo, let's go beat Joel today. But at this point, uh, I could gleam across the board. Do I want to get rid of here? We can just gleam him. And then drop on a rock slide. I like this. I like doubling down like this. Rock slide's going to come out here. Who dodged that? Who just dodged that? Who just dodged that? He dodged that, of course. Of course, I almost started dodge that, but hopefully Tokus goes beforehand. Beautiful, it does. So that'll take out Armada, no problem, and chip up some damage onto the Omastar. And if Omastar goes for a Surf, my Tyranitar should be able to eat it up. Let's see what he does. I'm going to go for an Ancient Power. Okay. Tokus should be able to eat that. Cool. Cool, cool. So he lands that. No, no, no stat boost, please. No stat boost. That's beautiful. So that's going to be GG's. Beedrill bombing out here in battle number two. That's exactly how I want to showcase Beedrill. He's an absolute beast. Love him so much. I could go for another Rock Slide, but I'd rather go for a higher accuracy move with Crunch. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Go roll into a Crunch. Bang. See you later. Cool. Perfect, perfect. Beedrill dominating battle number two. Allowing our T-Tar to set up as well. T-Tar closing out the battle. We're hopping into our third and final battle. I'm so glad we were able to showcase Beedrill off to his fullest potential in that last battle. We got him in there. We were able to sword stance, set him up with the Weavile by its side, and then trigger that swarm below 130 HP. And legit, we were one tap and left and right. He's an absolute beast. We're definitely going to be using him again in battle number three and looking for a winning record. We're going up against a really cool team. He's got Lapras. He's got Heatran, which we definitely have to watch out for. He also has Blossom, who is such a cool Pokemon. Aerodactyl, Raichu, who could definitely be a lead. And then last but not least, he is rocking with the hair. So I'm going to go Weavile for a lead, maybe alongside with Gyarados, because I don't him to lead that Heatran, but I don't know. Do we go? Do we go Gyarados? I could also go like a Tyranitar for a lead. Hmm. I could definitely go Tyranitar for a lead. He Heatran could be solid here as well. Does a lot of work on a lot of the, these Pokemon, so I definitely want to bring him. But I'm gonna go Gyarados. I'm gonna go Heatran. I'm gonna go Beedrill in the back end. I think Beedrill can really thrive up against a lot of these Pokemon, especially if we could just get rid of that Heatran. We can get rid of that Heatran. I feel like we could be thriving here. But let's see how this battle goes. We're one and one. We definitely should be two and zero oh because. You guys remember that first battle the opponent had a cool team though in the first battle dustin water the pro pass he was playing like stall toxic burns and all that which i really really like but uh if we didn't misclick on the tokus we win that battle 10 times out of 10. And we're gonna end up going gyarados alongside Weebot, which is a solid little turn but i might just get rid of the, the raichu because Weebot should be faster than raichu i could d-dance here i could definitely d-dance because heracross might protect just for the sheer fact is because it might trigger guts but i might just fake out and just set up a d that's gotta be my play, right? That's gotta be my play. I can definitely see a protect coming out from Heracross. Um, I can definitely see Ratchet maybe going for a fake out, but Weavile should be faster than it, so we should just fake it out. And we should be able to get off a nice, lovely, free, free little uh, Dragon Dance here. Which we're just big old flinch, and this thing's gonna end up going for ooh, Stone Edge. Did a lot of damage, a little too much damage here. Dragon Dance is gonna poke here. Uh. What can I do here? Just waterfall to take out the Raichu, and then maybe Ice Punch to finish. Uh, ice Punch is super effective. Uh, what do I want to do here? I think we'll let. Do we let Gyarados go down for the most part here? Just protect. That's this. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go for a protect here. I'm gonna end up with drawing the hero. Okay, so Ice Punch is gonna fly across it. Wow, we could just waterfall and drop. But again, Raichu's probably going across. Right? He's probably going for like a Volt Switch Pivot. I can definitely see that happening. Full switch pivot action here. Ice Punch is going to fly. It's not going to do much damage, but still chip it up a little bit. Chip it up a little bit, and there's the full switch pivot. At this point, I just go straight into a waterfall in that slot. Take him out, and then uh, I could just Night Slash. I mean, speed's really not a factor with Lapras, so I feel like that's going to be our play. Just do that, and then do this. The most Rachus do not even Rock Protect. The Rock can Fake Out, Nuzzle, Volt Switch, and maybe like break for a coverage move. That's what I see rocking out with, but we'll see. We shall see. Or it could be just rocking Thunderbolt for a big heavy stab hitting move. You never know. Or even Thunder. Or even Thunder. But a solid protect from us in that turn right there. He swaps to the Lapras. We know he has Heracross. He has Lapras. 
and Raichu, who is now going to be dead because we were dragging it here. This should take it out, no problem. So, see you later, Raichu. Yep, get it on out. Face. Let me take him out, no problem. It's definitely Lightning Rod, and Lapras is going to go for one. What are you going to do, Lapras? What are you going to do, Lapras? It Dynamaxes. <laughs> Could you imagine? Like, what? I thought we were playing BDSP. Just G Max resonances me. <laughs> He's going to end up going for a freeze dry. That's definitely going to take me out. That's going to be super effective. It's going to finish me off. Okay, so at this point, I could just bring out Beedrill. I'm going to dig. I kind of kind of dig in some Beedrill action. A little bit of Beedrill action here? Yeah. Let's roll out in the Beedrill. Um, I'll save my Heat Tram for later. I will save my Heat Tram for later. Beedrill's definitely the, the, the guy. Beedrill's going to fly out here for us. He's going to bring back a Howard Cross with some. I'm totally cool. I'm totally cool. I think I just Icy Wind. I think Howard Cross might be Sash in it. But I could Icy Wind and take out... You know who? I could get rid of uh, the Lapras here. Oh, we'll do more damage. Do they both do the same? They do both do the same. But I just think X is a lot cool. But we can maybe get a Poison here. Uh, whose attack's higher? It should be Beedrill's attack. Should be higher. We will all rip some mean damage. 172. Oh. Oh, never mind. Your attack is not higher. Wow, dude, we follow the beast. Follows an absolute menace. Do we think that's the real question? Do we think that we can take out Lapras? Or do we double down Lapras here? Or do we double down Lapras? I think we just icy went across the board. And then we just uh go for the KO on Lapras here. I'm gonna poison jab into it. Let's see how this one plays. He's gonna end up protecting Lapras here. A little bit. Son of a biscuit. And is this double protect? No, he's gonna close combat. Oh yeah, that's that's he outspeeds me. That's a quick, that's a quick Pokemon right there. That's quick, quick. That's quick, quick. So great protect by him. Solid protect by him. I'm surprised he outspeeds me. Wow. That's a quick Heracross. Is that thing choice? Could definitely be choice. So poison Jab's gonna get blocked. He makes a great protect feed. We're gonna have to bring out Tokus here. Or not Tokus, Heat Train. Heat Train comes out here and Heat Train does get rid of him, Which is which is bad. I might have to protect him. I'm thinking of doing. I'm thinking of just protecting them and then rolling into like a an X scissor or a poison jab over onto Heracross. That's gonna be my play. I probably should have went to an X scissor just in case he wants to. Uh, okay, that works. But just in case he does damage to me, but he's gonna end up withdrawing and going into his final Pokemon, which is going to be Heatran of his. So we're not going into a Flash Fire or, or a Heat Wave. That's pretty good. He's gonna go for the close combat, which we do. And hopefully this KOs. I don't think it will though. I don't think we can KO this. Thing. Me poison. We do get a poison. We might have to go for double protect here. We're dead. We're dead regardless. We have to go for double protect. E train has to get off this double protect. I'm gonna protect and I guess I'll go for a poison jab. I don't know. X is probably your play. This is tough, dude. This is tough because he has Lapras in the back and Lapras can be. So we're looking for double protect for Heat Train to keep him alive and it does not work. Is it impossible to work in this game? We're dead to that, right? Yeah. I feel like. People said that you can double protect in this game, but I have never landed a double protect in this game. So I went for double protect. It failed. He takes me out. I needed that protect out there. He's going to die of the poison. And this thing's probably just going to go. Oh, he goes for a flash cannon. Kind of That's surprising. That is surprising. x is going to do a little bit more damage. It gets the boost from the swarm. But how much damage is it really going to do? Not very effective. Yeah, this game, this game, this game is GG. This game is GG. But yo, I'm still super glad that we were able to showcase our Beedrill to his fullest potential. I am super glad. He's definitely going to protect Lapras, but I still want to go after it. I'm so cool with that. So cool with that. But yeah, one and two for today's video. Not too shabby when we definitely should have went to a one. And I'm glad second battle and even this third battle, we got to showcase how much damage Beedrill can actually do. Because Beedrill did a lot of damage onto that, uh, onto that Heracross right there without even being Swords Dance. It was just stabbing going straight into him. He goes for a Flash Cannon. Wow, you outspeed me. Beedrill's speeds look rather low. Rather low. And I'm surprised that what's it called? That Heracross was able to outspeed Weavile, which is pretty crazy. My boy Beechel absolutely tore it up today. I absolutely love using this Pokemon. Super fun, super off meta, and really cool because it's one of the Pokemon that I've never used before in competitive play. But not a bad set of battles. One and two for today's video. Like I've been mentioning throughout the video, we definitely should have went two and one if it wasn't for that misclick. But I'm really glad we got to show off Beechel to his fullest potential and some of these other Pokemon pairing up with Beechel. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive every day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.